week seven of the fantasy football season. And here's a few kickers I look to start this week. The first guy, Brett Maher of Los Angeles Rams. So Brett Maher, it's been a solid season for him so far with five out of six games with double digit fantasy points. So he's going out there. He's getting a lot of opportunities in an offense over there with the Rams is pretty high powered, I believe. With Cooper Cup, Kyron Williams, even though he's probably gonna miss this week seven game and Puka Nakoa and Maher's getting three or four opportunities per game. So this season, he's amongst the league leaders in fantasy points at the position. And this week in a matchup versus the Pittsburgh Steelers, that's gonna be a bend but don't break type of game for the Steelers defense like it usually is. I think Brent Maher once again is gonna get three or four opportunities. And he's a kicker I definitely would start this week. The next kicker, Jake Moody of the San Francisco 49ers. So Moody, he missed two field goals that could have won this ball game for the Niners in week six at the Cleveland Browns. So right now, Moody's been solid so far in his rookie season, but the last three weeks, the production definitely has fallen off for him. Week four, five fantasy points. Week five versus Dallas six. And week six at Cleveland four. But now week seven, a good matchup, Monday Night Football at the Minnesota Vikings. That give up the 15th most fantasy points to kick is on the season. And obviously it's an indoor game. That game in Cleveland a little bit bad conditions out there and he was just off his moody so i think he's gonna bounce back in this game he's been a good kicker besides the one game missing the two field goals and this nine and team of debo samuel and mccaffrey are gonna be out for an extended period of time or even not even 100 percent if they play in these games we'll see when the reports come out in the practices as the week goes on but anyway i think mooney will get more opportunities if debo and cmc are out and it's just one bad game. Like I said, they took him in the NFL draft for a reason. Jake Moody's a good kicker, and we've seen it early on in the season. So even after a bad game, I still have confidence in him as a start this week. Next starts Tyler Bass of the Buffalo Bills. The same type of situation here. Tyler Bass missed two field goals versus the New York Giants, which is uncharacteristic, obviously, of Bass. He's one of the best kickers in the league over the last three or four seasons. But the last two weeks as well, he's definitely taken a hit. His numbers, week five versus Jacksonville too, and week six versus the Giants too, but week seven here, good matchup at the New England Patriots. I give up the third and most fantasy points to kickers on the season. So this game, we know the Patriots, they're bent but don't break defense at times, even though this Buffalo Bill offense, a high-powered offense, and one of the best, if not the best offense in all pro football, even though, like I said, only 14 points versus a weak Giant defense, but I think they get back on track offensively this week. Tyra Bass, he'll get a few opportunities. Like I said, the Patriots, they don't give up touchdowns that easily, even though they've given up a lot of points over the last three weeks. But anyway, I like Bass as a start this week. Next start, Mac Gay of the Indianapolis Colts. A lot of good factors in this one here for Mac Gay. It's an indoor game back in Indianapolis. His numbers have been great so far this season when Minshew has started a quarterback. 24 and week three of Baltimore, week five versus Tennessee 11, and week six Jacksonville 9. And also they're versing a the Cleveland Brown team, which is a member throw break defense as well. So Gay should get a decent amount of opportunities in this game. This Brown team, they've held a lot of teams to the mid teens, low 20 so far this season. And it's indoors as well, like I said, which is a plus for any kicker, obviously, not after dealing with the outside elements. And it's just pretty much a straight shot through the upright. So right now, Mac Gay available and still in tons of fantasy league. Having a good kicking season as well. So right now, definitely a start this week. And the fifth and final kicker I look to start is Cameron Dicker of Los Angeles Chargers. Why we came and went in week five here. And then week six back in action versus the Cowboys. I know it wasn't a great game, but the opportunities really weren't there. Only a 27-yarder and two extra points. But week seven here at Kansas City. They're going to need to put points on the board is this Los Angeles Charger team. I know they passed up a few opportunities where they went for it in other short downs and distance. Big field goals, but they didn't. But right now, Kansas City, they got to play a perfect game for the most part. Dicker, we know, has a big mood. He's in a high-powered offense. And I think this week here, he's going to bump up the ranking board is Cameron Dicker and have a good game because they're just going to need points, like I said, and go up and down the field, especially after a bad loss to the Cowboys in a game. Yes, it could have went either way, but they had opportunities to kick field goals as well that instead they went for it. So right now, Dicker's a kicker, I think, a bounce back this week and a start. So that's a few kickers I would start for week seven of the fantasy football season.